Hey guys, uh, we're starting up unit four. Uh, in unit four, we're going to be answering the question, how do we get clean drinking water? We're going to be talking about what types of compounds can contaminate water um, and how we can remove them from water. So we'll be focusing specifically on ionic compounds like we did in the last unit. Um, and so we'll be building from what we talked about in the last unit when we introduced solutions. Uh, so if we're talking about water and things dissolved in it, we're talking about solutions. We talked about what happens when ionic compounds dissolve in water last unit, but we didn't talk about that in a whole lot of detail. So in this unit, we're going to dive into that more. We're going to start by looking at concentration. So concentration measures how much of a substance is dissolved in the water. So you should be at part one of your unit four packet right now. And you should be at question number three, problem number three. And I'm going to be going through a couple of demos for you. So I'm gonna do these demos through a video rather than in person um, because a lot of you guys are gonna be missing class coming up uh, because of Get Real Day and um, the A Push field trip. And so this way we're all on the same page. No one really has to be here to do this and it could be a little bit faster and easier for everyone this way. So this is gonna be demonstration number one. Again, we're at number three, problem number three in the in part one of the unit four packet. So demo number one. In these demos, we're gonna be looking at copper nitrate, copper two nitrate. So copper two nitrates, an ionic compound containing the nitrate polyatomic ion. Copper two nitrate kind of looks like shiny blue salt, sparkly blue salt. So that is copper two nitrate. Sorry, it's not a great picture. This is my Chromebook. Um, so got to work with what we have. So that's copper two nitrate. So we're going to make several solutions of this. So the first one, I'm going to take 0.5 grams of copper two nitrate and add it to 10 milliliters of water. So you take my 0.5 grams. I'm just going to put it in this test tube. Add my 10 milliliters of water. And shake it up. So you really like shouldn't just put your thumb over the test tube like this. It's bad practice, but I'm just trying to make it a little bit faster for everyone. Okay. So most of the copper is dissolved already, copper two nitrate, and the rest will shortly. So as you can see, it makes a nice light blue solution. And that's why we picked copper two nitrate. It's just such a nice color. Okay. So that is. 0.5 grams of the solid with 10 milliliters of water. So next, we're going to do 2 grams of the solid with 10 milliliters of water. Okay, and together, shake it all up. This will take a little bit longer to dissolve. So thanks for your patience. So after that mixes up, you can see we have a darker blue solution. So on your right is 0.5 grams, on your left is two grams. So it's not a dramatic difference, but it's a noticeable difference. This one on the right is on your left, sorry, is darker. The two grams is darker. Okay, so make sure you record that. And then we'll scroll down to the next demo. So as you're going through this, you want to be answering the question. So which solution contains a larger amount of copper? How can you tell that by looking at it? And then define concentration in your own words. So to help with that, the second solution, the one with two grams of copper two nitrate, has a higher concentration. So hopefully that will help to guide you to the answer or help guide your thinking. So next, demo number two. We're going to continue to use copper two nitrate, except we're just going to use a different volume of water. So in both of these, I'm going to use 0.5 grams of copper two nitrate, just not the same amount of water. So I have my copper two nitrate test tube, and then 
those are empty. Then I'm going to take 2.5 milliliters of water. So right here. Yeah, and once again, I realize pointing at the glare doesn't help you a whole lot. Okay, so once again, we got our blue solution. I won't give you a lot of time to look at that because it'll be better if we compare them. So I'll take the next one, also 0.5 grams of copper to nitrate, but we're going to do 10 milliliters of water this time. So here we have our two solutions. The one on your right is 0 0.5 grams of copper two nitrate with 2.5 milliliters of water. The one on your left is 0 0.5 grams of copper two nitrate, the same amount of solid, but in 10 milliliters of water. So once again, not super noticeable, but the solution on your right with less water is a darker shade of blue. So this, in this case, the one with less water has a higher concentration. Oh, so I answered that question for you, sorry. Okay, and so now solution, the first solution has a higher concentration, gave that away. But you're going to draw a diagram of each of these solutions. So remember the solution diagrams that we drew last unit. You drew a couple of these at the beginning of part one of the unit four packet. But you need to draw a couple here. And there needs to be a difference between them. They need to reflect the concentrations, the different concentrations of the solution. Then complete this sentence. Okay. And then finally, demonstration number three. This one, both solutions will have a different amount of solid in and a different amount of water. So first solution is going to contain 0.5 grams of copper two nitrate and 2.5 milliliters of water. And I'm not gonna show you this one until we compare them, just mix them together. Okay. And then finally, we're going to have two grams of copper two nitrate, which I didn't show you earlier. Oh, I did show you that one earlier. Never mind. It's a lot more than 0.5 grams. And 10 milliliters of water. So I wish the video quality on my Chromebook was a little bit better because then you could see just how dark blue these are. But these are now the exact same shade of blue. Neither is darker than the other. They're pretty much identical. So the solution on your right, the one with the smaller volume is 0.5 grams and 2.5 milliliters. The solution on the left with the larger volume is 2 grams in 10 milliliters. And they have the same exact color. So based on that, you're going to continue on, draw a diagram of each of those two solutions like you just did with demonstration two, and then kind of decide how the concentration of those solutions compare. I'm not going to give that one away for you guys. Um, and then after that, we're going to get into some calculations with concentration. You don't need to worry about that in this video, there will be a different example for you to look off of. Okay, so thanks guys for your patience. Um, and as always, let me know if you have any questions.